Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that I wear my bun. First off, I detangle and I use the organic skit 2-in-1 conditioning and detangler to hydrate my hair enough for it to be soft. I have 4C hair and it's very coarse and not as soft as it looks. So now I'm going to massage the product into my hair thoroughly. After that, I'll be going in with my Mega Growth Leave-In Strengthener. I use this product because it makes my hair softer. It's also a leave-in conditioner. It's affordable, it smells nice, and it is anti-breakage. This product retails for less than $5, and if you're in Nigeria, you can find them on their website or check. They have an official store in Jumia. So guys, I'm also going in with my Mega Growth Deep Conditioning. You guys know that for deep conditioning, you should wash it out. But for this product, it is recommended that you add a light amount after washing it out just to help with your deep conditioning. And I'm going to massage that thoroughly into my hair for even distribution. Next, and applying shear butter to my hair. I got the shear butter for about 500 naira at Tejo Show Yep, my kit. And the importance of shear butter to your hair cannot be overemphasized. I use this to help retain moisture, to help aid with hair growth, to prevent breakage, and to add that shine that I am looking for and to make my hair softer. After applying my shear butter, I also apply coconut oil to my hair just to give it that extra shine and glossy finish that I am aiming for. Coconut oil can also be used on the skin. It also helps fight against breakage of my hair and aids hair growth. After applying all of these oils, it's time for me to comb my hair. Combing my hair is usually a struggle for me. Hence the oils that I have to add to make my hair softer and easy to up next is my Mokoda Gorilla Gorilla Snot Gel and I use it to put to lay my edges. This gel actually does a really wonderful job of keeping your edges laid and looking slick. So I'm going to apply that all over my edges in front and behind. Now I'm going to use this brush just to smoothen out the gel application on my hair and I'm going to do that all over. I've got this brush for 100 naira on my street and my favorite thing about this brush is it does not break my hair. Now I'm using a plastic pan and I'm going to pack my hair into a bun. Now you can decide to go out like this after you've packed your hair in a bun but for today I'm going to add an extra afro bun to it just to give it that fuller and more glamorous look. Using the same gel to lay my edges. I'm not a big fan of baby hair so I'm not going to be doing that. Up next I'm going to use my scarf just to tie my hair and leave it on for about 30 minutes or more depending on whenever i finish with my makeup so now i'm done with my makeup and i'm going to take off my scarf i'm using this afro bun i got off jumia for a thousand seven hundred delivery fee cost 450 naira and this afro bun comes with it has a drawstring that means it can fit into different head sizes and hair sizes it also have it also has two wig clips take off my scarf and install my afro bun on my natural bun so first off i'm going to place the wig clips in front and fix it in then I'm going to do the same thing behind. After that, I'm going to pull the drawstring for that extra hold because I don't want to be working on the road and someone taps me to say, Madam, come and collect your hair. Your hair is on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> 
and going to use my hand to pull out some just to make it look fuller that's it guys this is how I do my bun when I do not want to wear a weave or I do not have braids on or any sort of protective styles for my So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also do not forget to like, comment and subscribe.